So I'm going to show you how to create a Google Doc assignment um, where the students are given a template to type into and then they can submit that Google template. Um, and this is called a Google Cloud assignment. So in this assignment, you'll notice that I've already created the assignment. I have my assignment instructions here. I've got my points and I've already developed my rubric. You have to kind of do all of those things before you can attach your Google template. So I am going to now go back into this assignment and edit it because I'm ready to attach my rubric. Once you've got that all done, or I've already done my rubric, so now I'm ready to attach my template. So I'm gonna go down where it says submission type. When you choose online, basically that means that the student is going to type into the text box provided or record video into the text box provided, or that they're gonna actually upload something from their computer in some way, or possibly attach something from their Google Drive. But I want them to use a template I've already created. So I'm gonna choose external tool, and then I'm gonna click on find and I'm gonna choose Google Drive Cloud Assignment, not Google Assignment. I actually just wanna use the Cloud Assignment because I'm using a Canvas rubric and I wanna use the Canvas Speed Grader to grade this. So I'm gonna choose Google Drive Cloud Assignment. And now this is going to allow me to search for this assignment in my Google Drive. I'm gonna just search for the name. There it is, so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna say submit. And I'm gonna say select. And then I'm only allowing one submission and I'm gonna assign it to everyone and I'm just gonna say save. Now later I would come back, I haven't actually set up the pass back to Power School yet, but when I do, I can come back into this assignment and ask it to sync. So I'm gonna say save and then now when I come out, it, it'll actually show that Google template that Google Drive template right inside of this window. And when students, you can't go to student view to see this because in student view, the student isn't a real person. So it doesn't have a real Google account associated with Canvas. So um, the best way to test it is to just enroll a colleague in as a student and see what it looks like on their screen is what I would say to do. But otherwise, it's gonna look very similar for students. They're just gonna see a green submit button right above their Google Doc. Now students can actually click this and open in a new tab, but they have to come back to the Canvas window to hit submit. And I did put those instructions in my um, assignment description. So what's gonna happen is the students get their own copy of this. They can type right in this window, and then when they submit it to the instructor, the instructor gets a copy that shows up in the speed grader, which can be graded on a laptop or on an iPad with the Apple Pencil. So that is basically how you create a Google Cloud assignment.